If you're watching this video, then you don't like the new YouTube UI. You're not alone. In fact, most people seem to not like this new UI for a lot of different reasons. Maybe it's, you know, the giant empty space at the bottom of the screen. Or the fact that scrolling downwards now floods your screen with video recommendations that you didn't ask for. Either way, it sucks and pretty much everyone hates it. That is, unless you're this guy, at which point you just don't want to hear anyone talk about it. Anyway, I'm not going to try to sell you nothing. Here's how to revert the new YouTube UI. No bull. Quick disclaimer, there'll probably be easier and or better ways of reverting the layout in, like, a week, given how many people hate it. But this isn't for people who want to wait a week. This is for people who want it now, and are fine with getting their hands dirty. I'm not going to go over exact details for every browser, and I'm not going to teach you how to Google better YouTube app for people who want a better mobile experience. This is for desktop users only. Alright, let's get into it. Option 1, user style. So, if you want just the exact loadout as it was last week, this is what you're going to want. First, download the stylus extension. This is available for both Firefox and Chrome. Next, paste this link. This one right here. I'll have a link to it in the description. I'm not the guy who made it, so if there are bugs, I can't help you. Anyway, let's say you don't want to put the effort into downloading an extension and then pasting a link. You want a one and done option to revert to the older UI. Well, I got you covered, boss. This is option two, player tube. This is the option that I use. Now, a quick disclaimer, as you can see, this reverts you back all the way to the 2013 player, or if you want, even earlier than that. Point being, it doesn't give you the exact player as it was last week, but it gets the giant buttons and crap out of the way, which is my main goal here, and you can do it in just one click. Just download the extension, and you're good to go. You can also customize every little bit of it. So let's say if I want a custom uh, picture for the scroll bar, I can do that. Different color, you can do that. All sorts of stuff. But anyway, if, you wanted, if all you wanted was to change the player UI to something that sucks less, you can go ahead and click off the video now. After hitting like and commenting the cheesy algorithm for me, of course. But if you're still here, though, let me show you some other extensions I use to customize YouTube and make things suck a little less. So number one, we have Enhancer for YouTube. This extension adds a little customizable options bar underneath your video bar and does some other neat stuff like control click scrolling to change playback speed and audio boosting. Number two, we've got Sponsor Block. If you don't like sponsored ad segments in videos, this extension lets you automatically skip them using user submitted segments. You can also customize it to your heart content. You can get rid of stuff like self-promo segments, hooks, unrelated tangents, etc. It's pretty neat. Number three here, we have Return YouTube Dislike. The name is pretty self-explanatory. If you want to see how many dislikes there are on videos again, use Return YouTube Dislike. The more people that use it, the more accurate dislike counters are going to be, since everything in the dislike, everything after the dislike API shutdown is based on extrapolated data, as explained in their FAQ here. Number four, we have YouTube Redux. So, you like your front page being giant and only displaying a max of three videos across? Me neither. YouTube Redux lets you customize your front page as well as other layout visuals. You can even revert from rounded pictures back to squares. Just be sure to scroll over to the second page of its settings and enable return YouTube Dislike compatibility. So here we've got our lovely YouTube Dislike, or our YouTube Redux page. Second page here, return YouTube Dislike compatibility. Uh, it wants me to be in YouTube to show these off, but, you know, you can see the pictures anyway. Finally, we've got annotations restored. So do you remember annotations? Probably not, but they're the thing that YouTube gutted. Thankfully, the majority of the annotations that were on YouTube videos were actually uh, saved before the uh, whole system went down. And since they're archived, you can use this add-on to re-enable them on older videos, as seen here. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I've got a couple other minor edge case extensions, but these are the main ones. If you like this video, like it, comment, hype it, mobile, yada yada. If you like me, send me a tip on coffee. I've got a cat to feed, and I need 300 bucks by the end of the month in order to buy a stupid FOMO Roblox cosmetic. That's all. Goodbye.